Yo, what's good, Griff413 here back in the day, and today, guys, I am here to show you how to unlock the brand new Ferrari Portofino, as well as the Porsche Gunther Works 400R here in Horizon 4, and how you can do so very, very quickly. In fact, quicker than most people will be able to get it done through normal means. So anyway, though, let's go ahead and hop on into it. So starting things off, how exactly do you get these cars? Well, they are part of a brand new system here in Horizon 4, and it is called Horizon Promo. And what Horizon Promo is, basically, you take a picture of a car, and you get points, and you start leveling up your Horizon Promo level here in Horizon Life. If we go in here and take a look at the rewards, as you can see here in Tier 6, you can unlock the Ferrari Portofino. And in order to do so, you have to take a picture of 100 unique cars. And then as we move on down the line, we get to Tier 11. And once you take a picture of 200 unique cars, you also can pick up the Porsche 911 993 Gunther Works 400R. Only 25 of these cars were made, and it is just going to be an absolute beast. Of course, there's also some other rewards. You also have Smile, you're on camera, you have Group Photo, but first, let me take a selfie. It, it's just actually, let me take a selfie. I'm just, oh god, that, that was such a bad song. It was such a bad song. You have Say Cheese, and then finally we have, look at this photograph! Oh god. I am Nickelback and I suck! <laughs> Just, oh, oh. But anyway, though, that is basically the gist of Horizon promo. Now, how exactly does... For those of you guys familiar with Horizon 3 and Horizon 2, then you probably remember Horizon promo. You take a picture of a car, and all of a sudden you get this screen to pop up, and it'll process the photo to determine if there's any cars that you have not taken a picture of, and it'll give you a point towards your progress here. So, of course, I've already taken a picture of this Ferrari Portofino because this is the fourth time I've recorded this video now because it keeps on corrupting for some damn reason. But anyway, let's go ahead and show you how you can get these cars extremely quick. So, the first step is to pick a race. Any race will do, but if you can find a race where the start point is exactly where you actually come in here and you can start the race and enter the event, that'll be best for what you're going to do. For me, I just decided to go ahead and pick Waterhead Sprint. It's not exactly ideal, but let me show you what you need to do. You come in here and you click Solo, and then you want to create a blueprint. Now, the first five blueprints you're going to have to actually create on your own. So, you'll have like one for hypercars and retro saloons, so on and so forth, and you just need to pick a bunch of different categories. And then finally, you get to your fifth one, and every single time you get to your fifth one, you'll just be able to go in here and click on it, and move on to the next category. So as you saw before, I was over there on Rods and Customs. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to Classic Muscle. So we'll just go ahead and create an event, leave it open, and set our route, and we're all good to go. And once we go ahead and get into the race, I'll show you what you need to do from there. Now really quickly as well, I would recommend also picking the highest class that you can. Now you don't have to go out and make any special tunes or anything like that. Just pick the highest class card that you actually have. Because the higher the class, the more cars will actually be unlocked. However, though, as well, if you go into, like, S2 and X class, and let's say, you know, you're here in Classic Muscle, not all the Classic Muscle cars can necessarily get to S2 or X class, so it is going to exclude some of those. So pick a class that is actually going to fit for the car. So, for example, I could do S1, and pretty much most of the Classic Muscle cars should be able to fit there. Or if I do A-Class, I'm pretty sure every single Classic Muscle will actually fit in there. But I'm going to go ahead and just go with this Hertz Old Ford 42 and get into the race. So the reason why we want to pick a car that, you know, has a high enough class is because we want to increase the diversity here. So as you can see here, we actually have 8 different cars out of the 12 total, which is fairly good. That's not too terribly bad. I've been in some races where, you know, for example, if you choose Anything Goes... For some reason, you're probably only going to get a bunch of Ford Focus RSs, because I don't know why the game does it, but Ford Focus RS is the main car for Anything Goes. Here, though, we have eight different cars, so we should be getting eight new cars from our photo mode. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go in here, and we're going to start the race up like normal, just get everything going, and you'll want to move past the front line, because it won't activate, camera mode that is, it won't activate if you just sit there. So you'll want to go ahead and head all the way over here to the back first off. And we're just going to go ahead and take a picture. We're just going to go ahead and take a picture. And we're going to capture a bunch of cars all at once. So that's five, six, seven, eight. 
So we knew how many cars there were because at the start of this, we actually went ahead and double checked. So we know that we actually got every single car in this one photo. So once we get here, we can just go ahead and back on out. Now, if you don't get every single car, the reason is because you haven't got all the cars up front because there are so, they're, they're far away. They're too far away for us to actually catch them. So you'll just move up down the line and you'll go ahead and photo those. We already knew that we had got all eight cars, so there were no new cars in this slot. So that's how we went about that. So increasing diversity and capturing a lot of cars all at once is going to make this go super smooth, especially with how long it actually takes to process a photo. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but it takes quite a good amount of time. It takes quite a lot of time. And taking a picture of one car at a time, just as you see them around the festival, it's going to take you a lot of effort and a lot of time in order to actually reach that, you know, first 100 or that first 200. But with this method, you can do it in probably about 20 minutes. For me, it took me about 30 minutes to get to the Ferrari. But I was also on my phone. I was on Instagram. I was working on videos. I, I wasn't really paying attention all that much. So you could probably do it a little bit faster if you stuck to it. And, you know, really, that's not that much longer than some of our championships in this game are some of our seasonal championships so overall they're pretty easy to get it's about 20 minutes a car not too bad not too bad so the last thing you want to consider is where the actual start point is for your next race and god dang it of course i get hit by that other vehicle oh if i wouldn't have got hit that would have been a much better segue into this next part but you want to consider where the race event start is. And for me, it's right about here. And this is where we're going to go and quit out of the race. That way, we can just hop into the next one right off the bat. If I wouldn't have got rear-ended by a damn Corvette, I, I would have been good to go. Normally, they just go past you, but I guess not this time. I guess not this time. So anyway, though, that's how, how you unlock the brand new Ferrari Portofino and the Porsche Gunther Works 400R. Leave a comment down below and let me know which one of these cars you guys are most excited about. For me, I really like the Ferrari. I think the Ferrari is absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. It looks so nice. It's a nice grand tour. I'm not super excited about the Gunther Works. It is going to be very cool. I mean, they only made 25 of them. But at the same time, we do already have 993s. I know there are some cosmetic changes that were done to that car. But it's not necessarily the most exciting car ever, just to be honest. For $525,000 that that car actually costs, like, I mean, you could buy so many other things. Granted, though, since they only made 25 of them and they cost that much, this will probably be the only opportunity that we ever get, the, the closest thing that we're ever going to get to drive a Gunther Works Porsche. So it is kind of cool that it is here in this game. But that's where we're going to wrap things up for today. If you want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash girl 413 and instagram.com forward slash girl 413 And if you like this video, go make sure to hit that like button down below for us because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Bye.